Hi students, in this video I am going to help you navigate through the Meritors MDS Prep app. Now if you have registered with this app, if you are a free user or a pro user, you will definitely find this video helpful because there are a lot of features that you can use to have excellent performance in your exam. Now when you register on the app, this is what your home screen will look like. Let's run through all the features one at a time. So at the bottom of your page you will find QBank. Test series, bytes, videos, and progress. Now, to understand all of this better, let's look at one of these packs that is the guided prep pack to get a better understanding of the package. The first thing that you need to keep in mind is the tasks. Now, on top, you will see select subject where you can pick the subject of your choice. Let's say Prosto Complete Denture. And here you have the entire list of tasks. Now, tasks are nothing but the building blocks. You need to clear these tasks, have a 100% completion in these tasks to be able to move forward. This is what we recommend. Now, what are tasks? These are like small, small topics, chapters sub of a given subject that you will see in different tests. So, vertical and horizontal jaw relation, for example, you can prepare this task. So, you click on prepare and you will see there are bytes, notes and workbook videos. So, what are bytes? Bytes are nothing but notes. You will find something called bytes which are exactly the notes and then you have workbook bytes or workbook notes which are going to have more illustrations which are a little more updated and have a lot of integrated kind of points so you can refer whichever you like to understand a topic better you can also refer to the video so here is the attached video now in some topics you may find couple of videos you can choose whichever video you want to watch and this is all unlimited, like there's no restriction to the number of watches or the number of views. Feel free to log in, just view whatever you want and take down notes if you like in your workbook. And then once you have prepared the topic, you can come back to the test. So you close this section and you press on take test. Now when you start a test, you have the questions as you can see. So pick on the answer and then next and then pick one answer and next. And then you finish the test and then you can review all your answers together. So when you press review answers, you will get the explanation which is like the detailed description of the correct answer or the topic or the related information that you might need. Now it is necessary for you to read this information or the explanation because over the years we have noticed that whenever there is a question, the recall the next year, the subsequent year, you will have something identical, something similar and most likely from the explanation part of the question. So make sure that you go through the explanation thoroughly. And if you know the topic very well, if you don't need a detailed explanation, you can just read the key concept. And then you can move on to the next question one at a time. Now you will also see this bookmark option on the lower left. When you bookmark a question, it is saved in a different folder and you can always come revisit this question. Now this specific point is very handy. It is a very interesting tool because when you are revising towards the end of your preparation, you will need these kind of questions which are difficult or which are important to revisit. So uh, when you go back to your home page, you will see in QBank, you have bookmarked questions on the top right section. So when you go to bookmark section, again, you have all your subjects and the bookmark questions in one specific place. Very easy to manage, very easy to handle. Here in QBank, you will also see subject wise tests. So say for example, when I go to Prosto Complete Denture, now here you will see lesser number of topics. So in tasks, you have more topics and in QBank, you have consolidated topics for each chapter. So this is like a step ahead. So once you finish your task, you can go to the QBank and then you click on the test series, which is next to QBank. Here you can take a cumulative test of multiple subjects together. You can have a more advanced test of a given subject. So you can see that currently active tests are displayed. You can choose image based questions or whatever kind of test you want. Now, in case if you missed a test, you can also access the past tests. See, there's a whole list over here. You can feel free to click on any and access those tests at any given point of time. You can also pick subject wise, image based, full syllabus, topic wise, however you like. So there is like a whole variety of whatever uh, you need at a given point of time is available. 
another important feature is the mini mocks so if you look closely there are a lot of collaboration of subjects that means perio overlaps a lot with dental histo and dental anatomy you will have a lot of uh, correlation with opath and oral medicine dental materials and prosto so we have clubbed these subjects together so that when you are preparing you have an overall idea of integration of these subjects so you will see that you have mini mocks test like dental anatomy histo perio together then you have op and radio together then you have anatomy surgery and oral surgery together so the idea is to have an integrated uh, approach to each question so that even if there is some information from one subject you can always correlate it to the other subjects so after you finish the basic subjects make sure that you do the mini mocks this will boost up your confidence and you will also be able to revise a lot of things together in just one test another way to revise is to go to the revision tab and here you will have all the revision tests and lastly you will see this final strokes which is not currently accessible but it becomes accessible only during the last two weeks closer to the exam now final strokes are high yield numeric volatile factual kind of topics that you must revise before your exam and these are the kinds of questions that have repeatedly come in the exam so you know if there is some, some who found whatever xyz if there are some specific classification systems or like i said numerical values so to brush up towards the end final strokes are very useful and then you have bytes which i already covered now bytes also you have the flexibility to refer to the workbook so make sure you check whichever you want to uh, look at and the video explanations then you have strategy videos over here so you go to the special on the top and you have different strategies for each subject so you can just uh, refer to these videos whenever you feel that you are lost with any subject and you need more guidance on how to prepare one specific subject uh, you will also find a lot of recall questions and related strategy on how to prepare you can bookmark the videos as well coming back to the home page you will see some very interesting uh, parts here national mocks national mocks are nothing but it's like an all india simulation of your neat mds exam inict exam it is also available to free users so here you will be able to practice the same questions test these are specifically curated by our experts at the time of uh, you know couple of months before the exam over the weekends we usually conduct them and then you have a detailed report of your performance so we really encourage you to take these tests from time to time because it gives you a better perspective and it gives you like a more hands on experience of the exam and of the time management next is marathon now marathon is another uh, thing that we initiate during the last few months of uh, exam preparation this allows you to revise specific high yield more important questions more repetitive kind of questions towards the end and these are like 3000 plus questions again segregated in different subjects and these are also specifically picked based on how frequently they have appeared in the exam and lastly coming back on the home page you will see topic videos and mcq videos so mcq videos is something that we really focus on and we want you to watch these videos if you find them associated with an explanation so if there is an explanation you will also find a video tab next to it so watch this explanation and this allows you to have a more in depth understanding on how to eliminate the options which is very important to minimize the risk of negative marking so this gives you a better perspective on how to approach a question and how to have you know parallel knowledge to that topic so that is all about the mcq videos yet another important feature here is the recall that is the past exam papers you can practice them as many times as you want and as you scroll down you will see a lot of other things here firstly blogs now blogs are very helpful if there is any information that we need to update especially related to the exam you will find it here you can also find all the neat mds related strategies uh, how to reduce negative marking or how to tackle you know case based questions inicet related information is here question papers are here exam updates are here so this is the space where you should look out for updates and one more feature that you should always always keep checking is the progress which is in the lower right corner 
this section will allow you to understand how well you are performing and how your preparation is and if your current strategy is going in hand in hand with your progress so make sure that you check your progress from time to time and now coming towards the end of the video i want to assure you that this app is the one stop that you need before your mds preparation with almost 25000 plus mcqs and thousands of videos and marathon and final strokes and national mocks you have the best possible app you can use for your preparation thank you so much for watching this video and in case if you have not downloaded the app do it right away good luck